it's Joy and I'm back with another video. I got today in the mail a um, one of my new boxes that I'm going to be getting for a year. It is a Christmas subscription and um, Christmas CD subscription. So it came in in October. So I'm assuming the next one comes in in December because it's supposed to be every other month. Um, and it's for six times, there will be six times total. And then um, once that the year is over so you can only do it for a year um, because they have six CDs that they'll send you and that's it so this is get your nog on uh, Dave Cornwell soft er, Dave Cornwell Soto jazz piano solo jazz piano sorry and it's got Santa Claus is coming to town caroling caroling have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Deck the Halls, My Favorite Things, Silver Bells, Frosty the Snowman, White Christmas, Let It Snow, and Green Sleeves. So that's what came in this month's box. I'm looking forward to listening to that and seeing if I enjoy it. Um, I'll let you guys know um, what I think of it. And it says... Welcome to the Christmas Cocktail Piano Box. <coughs> You've been signed up for a very unique subscription gift. A special message for you. And I do the ordering, but I always put a message on them when I send them as gifts, and that's how I do it. And it says, for the music lover and the Christmas lover, I hope this makes your day a tiny bit brighter. Love, Mom. And then they got their website down below www.thepiano.com, uh, no, www www.newfriendentertainment.com, um, the Christmas Cocktail bo Piano Box. Hello, here's your album, Get Your Nog On, featuring 11 songs perfect for celebrating holiday fun with special friends and family. Tap your toes, kick back, and enjoy with a holiday beverage of your choice www.getyournogon.com www.thechristmascocktailpianobox.com So that was what I got in that box. I'll be doing this for the whole six times that I get it. So every other month for a year I'll be showing that. Um, I have three other boxes that I'm going to be showing you guys through Christmas time. And then after that I don't know. I want to talk a little bit about what today was. Um, yesterday, um, we went to Mom's Heart Doctor. Everything's okay there. She's still in good health there. They're happy with what she's doing, so Mom's got good news there. Um, today, we had our mammograms. They said that hers looked good, and then my doctor called me just as I got home. I got the message that I missed a call on my way home, and I called them back, and they said that mine was negative, which means that I got a year before they checked me again. Everything looks good. So... Very happy about that. Um, good news all the way across the board for right now. Tomorrow mom goes and gets her toes ple uh, filed down. And so right now we're showering because we've just gotten home from town. We were in a hospital to get the mammograms done. So I really want to get us showered. And as soon as we get showered, we're going to go make lunch and get the crock pot on for supper. And yes, it's late in the day, guys. But the meal I'm making is the ham and potato one I showed in another uh video I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out and we're going to have that for supper tonight so it takes like three hours to cook so I can even put it on in like another hour so as soon as we're done showering I'm going to make a pizza for our lunch and then after I get the pizza in the oven I'm going to set up the cross pot while I'm waiting for the pizza and then that way when the pizza's done we can go in and watch a movie mom and I can together so that's why you're hearing waters mom's in the shower I'm about to get in the shower so I'm in my sports bar right now um and so I'm getting ready to get ready for my shower I am so relieved to have the mammogram out of the way for the year and everything is feeling good right now so I'm feeling a lot more relieved I think mom is too after hearing her news and then we got little uh, prizes we because it's breast cancer awareness month our hospital that we go to to get it gives gifts to us when we get our mammograms in October and so mom got the magnet I got last year which um is this cute little pink one that tells the hospital name and the phone number and everything to their mammogram center. And then mine was a little wristband that says the hospital name. And so it was in pink and black. Like, looked like tie-dye, but it's one of those rubber band, rubber bracelets that 
are so popular or were so popular for the longest time. So I've got one of them. So that's what we got today. This is another unboxing slash unbagging. I re-signed up for Club Fitwear, which I didn't really, I don't think I ever really unboxed it on video before. Um, but I re-signed up. This time I signed up through their website and I got so much off my first order and, um, and then I pay so much every month. I think it's like 19 something a month. But the first one was like 15. So I'm going to open this up. And it's a t-shirt subscription. Club Fitwear has, they send out a t-shirt. It costs a little more because of my size. Um, than if you're smaller. And they do, um, they have inspirational like quotes on them and stuff usually. Um, so, and then they have some deal information. Help make a difference. Fourteen and nine deal with free shipping. So they have like their um, breast cancer awareness ones, and that five dollars of every order is uh, donated to breast cancer. And then they have how to join their club fitwear crew and percent off my next entire purchase. So if I go on and purchase cl other clothing other than what they send to me. Um, there's other things. They, they got a promotion on that. That said, let's see what this shirt says. I also want to check the back. Ugh. Okay, this is better. It's hashtag good vibes only. But I still don't like the skunk stripe. I think that looks ridiculous, the skunk stripe. And it says, attitude is everything. I do like the saying on it, but I really wish they'd stop making skunk stripes down the back. They are comfortable shirts. They are really cute. It'd be different if it went across the back like this does on the front. I don't like the way it goes down the middle. It looks like a skunk stripe. Stripe, And I like their shirts. Um, but that was why I stopped subscribing to this in the first place. Then the last one I got from them... Of the five that I think I got, because I have the uh, Shut Up Legs, the um, Mindy has the Embrace the Suck that I had gotten, because I didn't like the saying on that one. Um, the Challenge one, the one's about challenging your limits, and the Breast Cancer one, and then I also got um, one other one that it was the last one I got. Out of the five, only one of them didn't have the stripe down the back. And it was the last one I got. And I was like, oh man, they heard what I said because that was why I unsubscribed. And so I'm like, I'm going to give them another chance. And I subscribed. This time I went through the website. But I'm kind of disappointed in that. I don't like that. I mean, okay, it, I do like this better, the fact that it's something other than hashtag uh, Club Fitwear. Last time it was Club Fitwear. It went down the back every time. I like the good vibes only, but I wished it would have went this way, not this way. Um, because I feel like, especially with the black on the, or the white on the black, it looks like a skunk stripe. I understand what you're saying. And how many people want to look like a skunk unless it's Halloween? I it still don't look like good. No, it, it's, it's they're good quality. They are very nice, com soft, comfy. There shouldn't be anything on the back, really. They're they're very nice and soft. I don't mind there being words on the back, but I want it so that people don't have to go like this and look down my si back. You know what I mean? I don't want it to look like a skunk stripe. Um. But I do like the shirts, and I do like the sayings on the shirts, for the most part, except for the one that said Embrace the Suck. I didn't like that one. But other than that, I have liked the sayings on the shirts. Um, sorry, guys, I'm trying to video you sitting in a different chair than usual. and so you're. But this one says, Attitude is everything. So, Attitude is everything. So I do like this message on the shirt. I just wish that they would uh, stop putting it, putting it going down and would put it going across, or would... Stop putting it on the back at all. If you're interested in checking out their um, stuff, go to clubfitwear.com. They have more options there. Um, I was supposed to have another box to video last night. And I'm going to say this right now. I was supposed to have another box to video last night. It got delivered at 2.02 .02 p.m. yesterday by FedEx.
supposedly at my front door. I have looked outside. Now, if you remember from the Jackie's Chocolate video that I did, um, we know that I don't always get my packages. Um, I don't know where to begin to look for it because I don't know if it's on this street, that street, or this street, or that street, or could even be in another edition altogether. So I'm a little upset, and it's been setting my depression off today because I was really looking forward to that one. It was a teacup one, and I really wanted to look, share it with you guys because I love vintage teacups. And so I was looking forward to seeing that one. But, unfortunately, it is with a neighbor, apparently, and this time they weren't deli didn't deliver it. So I don't know if it was because it was really storming last night, which is very possible, and then they had to work today. So maybe tonight they'll deliver it. Um, I'm hoping that's the case. A package from You Matter Box. I did this because I was having a really rough week today. I've ordered it, so I chose to order them You Matter again because I really liked the last one. So, let's see what we got. I ordered this in small because I'm going to put it on my bear. And it says, you are important. You are loved. You matter. You matter, box. So, I bought it in small because I thought the bears could wear that. Mom's bear or mine. Okay, there's another package in here. And then we've got some slippers. Oh, these are cute. These are a size medium, so they will not fit. They're kind of cute. They, since their backs are out, I might be able to wear them around the house. They might be good to slip on just to run from room to room. Are they little claw foot feet? Aren't those cute? Ooh, and there's stuff in the pot in the thing. Okay, we've got a skull. And it opens. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's an EOS, like an EOS. That's okay. What's an EOS, like a lip balm? Oh. That's kind of nice. It smells kind of like a mint one. But that's cute. It's a little skull head, pink skull head. Okay. And then in the other shoe is this bath scrub, like a body scrub. It doesn't have anything on it, but I'm sure there's paperwork in this bag here someplace. There's these, uh, like, little, like, scrapbook. Assem oh, it's an assembly kit. Okay, it makes a frightful fold out album kit. Uh, so it's a die cut album kit. That's kind of cool. I'll have to look at that more later, but it's a Halloween theme. And then it says, You have really been rocking it this year. Keep it up. You got this. And that was the message I sent myself. Oh, yummy. Okay. Then it says, progress is better than perfection. Which, I needed that. Um, and then, they have this little candy bar that says, You are spooktacular. And if you pull this back, unfortunately, this isn't one that I like, but Mom will enjoy. It's a cookies and cream. It's white chocolate with cookie uh, so Oreo pieces. So, I'll probably share that with Mom. And then there is a little temporary tattoo of a sugar skull. So that's kind of cool. I think this box is definitely a really good box. And it really is a pick-me-up. So it's definitely one I splurge on. But it is definitely worth the money in my opinion. Um, now, the last thing is this thing. Which I haven't opened yet. Um, but I do think I'm pretty satisfied with what I get in this box. Um, every time I'm very happy. Okay, this time there's a pair of sunglasses, which is awesome because I kind of needed another pair of sunglasses. Oh, and I love this. They say love all over the side of them. That is cute! Okay, just a second. I'm going to show you guys these awesome sunglasses. And see the sides? And that side there. Perfect. Oh, that's cool. These will be perfect for when we go for walks um, and the sun's out. Yeah. So my favorite thing out of this box, I honestly think I have to go with the sunglasses are pretty awesome. I love those. And they say love all around the side, which is one of my favorite words in the world. Um, so that is awesome. They did a really good job packaging it. I love this shirt for the bears. 
that will be cute. And I do love the saying, the comment. If they had my size in shirts, I would have ordered my size. Unfortunately, they don't. They're made, this is more for a teen, um, these boxes are. But I do love this shirt. It says, you are important, you are loved, you matter. You matter box. And I do like this. What I don't like in the club fit where they have it down the back, the, some kind of hashtag. This doesn't. So I like that. And I love the color, too. That's a really pretty color. It is a pretty color. You think uh, Rye or Barry will like that shirt? I'll go for Barry. I mean. <laughs> Mom's already claiming it for her bear. <laughs> no. No, yours is Rye. Mine's Rye. My bear, big bear's name is Rye, guys. Okay. So that is awesome. I'm really glad I ordered this one. Um, and I do love it. They put a little wrapper around a candy bar. And it was a full-size candy bar. That is awesome. And the candy bar is good until August of next year. So that's good. So that, that's one thing I like to check when I get food in boxes is when it expires and stuff. So I'll be sharing that with my mom. She'll get that. So mom got part of the box. Her bear or my bear will get part of the box. I'll probably end up passing this on to somebody because I did, I'm very careful about my, what, um, I actually think Mindy will get the skull lip balm because she'll love that because she loves skulls. I'll probably pass that to Mindy. Let's smell this. Ooh, this is a strong odor. Phew, that is strong. I can smell it without even getting all the way into it. So... It's a nice smell. It's not like a bad smell. Okay, it does tell what's supposed to be in here. So it says sunglasses, wear these tended spectacles, and be the envy of all your friends. Candy bar, enjoy this spectacular wrapped chocolate bar. Slippers, your feet will be warm and comfy. Com will be warm and comfortable in these spectacular slippers to fit the season. Lip balm, keep your lips feeling spectacular this with this sugar skull lip balm. Frightful album kit. This album is spectacularly spooky. Specta specta spectacularly spooktacular. Just like you. Let your creativity flow. Pumpkin spiced body scrub. I'm going to pass that to Mindy. It's pumpkin spice. I can't do pumpkin spice. So Mindy, you're going to be getting two items from this box. Um, sis, I'm sorry. I didn't have anything to give to you out of this box. Um, pumpkin spice body scrub. Your skin will feel and smell spectacular after using the scrub. You are spectacularly spectacular. So there's that. And then they wrote my message I put for myself on there. We all need to encourage ourselves. So when you if you guys send yourself boxes, if you do the subscription boxes, do it just one time even. Just do it as a gift, and then put in a gift note for yourself because. I tell you, I saw, if I remember, I don't remember what my com my um, message was. I still enjoy having that message in there. And so I always make sure it's something positive or upbeat. Or I say, I love you. And even though it's coming from myself to myself, it is such a pick-me-up on those days that you get your box. So go in, send yourself a monthly subscription box as a gift. A, you can set it so it only comes once. You can And splurge on one you really want to try. Do that and set it as a gift one time only. Don't renew if you go through Create Joy and put a message on there. Something that will inspire you. And this box, I'm going to say I need to get a hold of the company and let them know that got delivered to me. Um, just a minute here, guys. I'm going to try to make a makeshift uh, thing. This box was supposed to have been delivered Tuesday, I think it was. Monday or Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. Uh, I'd have to look it up, but anyway, it was delivered, 2.02 p.m. Tuesday or Wednesday, it was supposed to have been delivered, and I didn't get it. And, um, it was came through FedEx. Um, just now, it's Sunday at 12.29 p.m., and I'm sitting here with my mom, and I'm working on setting up some pills and watching a podcast, and I suddenly see somebody coming up to my door. And so I get up, and I go, and I see that she set this there, and I goes, well, thank you, I've been looking for that all week. And she's just like, yeah, you're welcome, kind of attitude, but she did not look happy. 
I had ordered this at, because I ordered this one for three months because I wanted to have it for December. But I also wanted to share with you guys in the other two months. Still packaged up, it looks like, but it's hard to say. Um, my address is correct on it, so it wasn't on the company at all. This was definitely on FedEx. Um, so let's get into this. Anyway, it's the Vintage Teacup Club, I think it is. Yeah, Vintage Teacup Club. And I love vintage teacups, and my mom loves tea. So I figured my mom also likes the vintage cups too, I think. So I thought this would be a good one for us to share. And um, just give me a moment, guys. Okay, so it's just a plain box on the inside. But this was, uh, so I contacted the club the next day. And I said, I see that it was delivered um, yesterday at 2.02 p.m., but I've checked all my doors and I can't find it. And I had tried getting hold of FedEx and they're like, oh, it's whatever, you know. And like, it should be there or we'll check into this or what. I don't know. Anyway, it was not much help there. So the next day, then I got a hold of the company. So the first, that night, I had gotten a hold of FedEx to see what had happened to my package. And they weren't much help, so then I got a hold of the company and asked them, and they were going to check into it. So they were going to be within a week. If I didn't get my package, um, they would send out another one. Obviously, it was stolen if it didn't get to me. So I will email them tonight and tell them that it was delivered, I believe, by a neighbor. Okay. Whoa, is that cold. Okay, so here's my plate. It's this beautiful little pink flower pattern. I'll let mom hand hold it. It is very cold. So I think it's been outside all week. And here's its cup, and it's very, very, very cold. This is by Woodside. It's Franciscan China Woodside. Oh, the, the style is Woodside. And it's made in California. So that's a very pretty set. Can I see the plate? Sure. So I was just holding it too. Very beautiful set. I'm gonna let mom have that back. So what do you think of that set, mom? Beautiful. Okay. Then we got some Biscoff tea biscuits, which mom will enjoy. Although I'd let them warm up a little bit because they do feel like they've been outside all week. So this got Biscoff. I believe those are like a British cookie. Um, maybe I'm wrong. But I want to say one of my friends from England or maybe it was Ireland or something always talked about these cookies when I worked at camp. Biscoff by Lotus since 1952. Okay, so I'll hand that mom. Then we got a little toffee. It's an English cream toffee uh, by Walker's. It's vanilla cream. I don't know that it's normally hard, but it is very hard. So I don't, like I said, I don't know how long this has been sitting outside. And then we got a butter cream hard candy. A couple pieces of hard candy. And we got a little chub, uh, Chub, chubba chub, whatever those suckers are. They got a little one of them, and it looks like it's strawberry flavored. Um, there's these teas, and in the teas, there is green tea with orange, English breakfast tea, English breakfast tea, and plain green tea. So, four tea bags, a teacup of about three pieces of candy. And one package of cookies and then the saucer as well. So a very nice little box if you're into teacups, um, which I am. I should show you guys my other two. I bought at a craft fair one time a set for mom and a set for me. And then I also love little spoons for that. Let me go get those and show those to you guys. And then you guys can see why I want it. Why this was such an interesting one to me. I actually could have went a little higher and got the bread plate to go with these but I didn't really want the bread plate so I have this is like my little this is what we usually use for our teacup to go on the blue set is my mom's I believe and so there's and the pink set 
is mine. So there we go. And then we have the little matchy plates that go with the sets. So we bought that. And then we have spoons, special spoons that we usually use too. Um, but this is just one of the things that we like to have every great once in a while. I'll pull them out. Spoons I like to use, and I'll show you a couple of those. We have these spoons. But we also have, so we have this one that was, I think it came with a book I got one time. But it's cute. It's got a little teapot on top. Then we got this little one with a rose. I don't know. This one's just a, this one came with one of the two cups, I believe. I think that one and this one came with the cups. And then we have this cute little rose one. So we have some cute little spoons that we use with our tea cups. Um, and then we also have a very cute little couple of little tea bag holders. We're very big on tea in this house. So I can't tell. So um, I used to drink it more in the evenings than I do now. I'm get, starting to get back where I can drink it at night. Um, so that's good. But anyway, what did you think of the box, Mom? I thought it was pretty. Very nice. I think that was good. I think we're going to enjoy it. And um, we're definitely getting it for three months. And then we may re-up that one. Good job packaging it. Cause I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe if you aren't already. And you want to see more of my unboxings and more wonderful content. We have a lot of stuff coming up. Especially in December. Um... I got to work on some editing today if I get a chance, but I may be running to town to deliver something to my sister. Um, and I hope you all have a wonderful day filled with lots of love and laughter. Until next time, we'll catch you later.